Hi, this is Brian Farrell with Aqueous Solutions LLC, makers of the Geochemist Workbench. Today, I'd like to show you the results of some reactive transport models made with X2T. The videos show the effects of modeling stagnant zones in an aquifer, as described by a dual porosity model. The first example describes transport of a non-reactive solute through a single porosity homogeneous domain, for reference. The contaminant enters a pristine aquifer through a point source. The plume migrates laterally through the domain due to advection and spreads due to hydrodynamic dispersion, which we've modeled using fixed law. Next, we've set up a stagnant zones which occupy 40% of the aquifer. The plume moves more quickly through the domain. The latent edge is attenuated as solute diffuses into the stagnant zones. As clean water recharges the aquifer, the stagnant zones leach solute into the free-flowing zone creating the tailing effect. The final example is much like the previous run, except that the heterogeneity of the medium gives rise to hydrodynamic dispersion. As before, the plume migrates faster through the domain. The stagnant zone acts first as a sink, then later as a source of the contaminant. Thanks for watching our video on dual porosity modeling.